KGUN 9 on your side first warning weather with meteorologist Aaron Brackett. Just a quick sample of all the storm reports coming in out of the Midwest and likely we're going to see a lot more than this stack that I have right here. Uh, a colleague I went to college with back in Valparaiso, Northwest Indiana was out storm chasing near Oklahoma City. He took this photo of a tornado, got a little bit closer to one of many, one of at least 19 that have happened so far today in portions of Kansas and Oklahoma. And the weird thing about this setup is that these storms, these large supercells are heading toward big cities. Oklahoma City impact. Tulsa is under the gun before too long and earlier on today, Wichita, Kansas, uh, a tornado went right through the south end of town. We're still kind of gathering information on the damage there, but it was so bad. It was so threatening that a local TV station actually had to take cover. Take a listen to this. It is time for all of us to get to shelter. Get to shelter right now. Ryan Newton. Ryan Newton. Now, Ryan. Everybody down below. Let's go. You're hearing the voice of meteorologist Dave Freeman there. He's been the chief at KSN for about 20 years. He said that's the first time he's had to evacuate a studio because of a tornado. So the storms continue. They will continue throughout most of the night, continuing to push off toward the east and threatening much of the Midwest. You can see how expansive this system is. Most of the severe weather is confined to Kansas and Oklahoma. Lots of storms elsewhere. Let's head back to the desert, though, where our weather obviously much more pleasant if you've been outside today. A little bit warm, though. Lower 90s is what we've been seeing, but you can see the clear skies overhead. That's the way it's going to stay as high pressure is parked in place. And that's what it does. It gets rid of all the clouds. Right now we're seeing 90 degrees at the airport with that full and unlimited sunshine. A dew point of 25. Humidity sits at 9%. So yeah, it's still very, very dry out there. And a westerly or west northwesterly wind at 12 at the airport. So as we look for clouds and rain, really a void of both over much of the area up toward Casa Grande and Phoenix. Much of the same thing, just those blue skies and there'll be clear skies tonight. You can see even a little bit more dry air trying to work in from Yuma. This is several thousand feet in the air. So when you have that orange, that gray color, that means that, yeah, we're really not going to have any clouds forming throughout our area. Temperatures right now, mid 90s in Phoenix, 90 in Tucson. As we mentioned earlier, it's 84 in Kingman. As we zoom in a little bit closer so far, our highs today have been into the middle 80s through portions of Cochise County, 80 in Oracle, 91 in Casa Grande presently. And as we look at future cast, we're going hour by hour. You can always keep track here in the upper left hand corner of your screen what time we're looking at. This is early tomorrow morning, then going forward. Really hard pressed to find any clouds. You have to look into portions of northern New Mexico to see any of that moisture and it just won't make it toward the Tucson area. So here we go with lows tonight down to 57 in Sierra Vista, 56 for you in Wilcox. And you see those 60s, middle 60s in Casa Grande and cells and a little bit cooler. Mile High City of Bisbee heads to the middle 50s tonight and also cool in Douglas, 55. Pretty big temperature swings there, very common. We go to 65 tonight though in Tucson. That's pretty much where we were last night. That is mild compared to what we normally see this time of the year. But notice a little bit of a warm up tomorrow, 93. So you're saying, yeah, that's a couple degrees warmer than today. That's right on par with average though. Westerly wind increasing just a little, 10 to 20. This will be very important for those firefighters down in Sonoida uh, battling that fire that has expanded. 89 in Oracle, 87 in Wilcox, and you see very comfortable conditions in Sholo heading toward 72 there. Here's your seven day forecast now. We've got pretty much wall to wall sunshine, a couple clouds on Saturday, but look at the temperature increase. If we're going to hit 100, it'll be Wednesday or Thursday. I haven't put the triple digits on the seven day yet, but still it is possible with all the high pressure that's going to be located over the area. And we cool things down just a couple degrees as we head toward next weekend. And I'm your side at five. We'll be right back.